So this is one of the more expensive apps. $9.99 and you get Interface HD. So uh, what I'm swiping through here, those are the different apps I've made. And now what I'm swiping through now are the different pages of that one app. So this is a fake app I made f just to show you guys. This is uh, Fashion Photography of Irving Penn. And now I'm scrolling through all the different things you can add to your mock-up. Um, here you can edit uh, photos just by clicking them. You can drag them around or change their origin by uh, the little controllers they have for you. And it's really easy to customize anything. So this was the most important part for me, that you could actually run the app and you know see what it looked like on a phone. So here, there's a monochrome page. There's the color page. And you can set different things for, for these photos to do. I just I haven't set you know any other buttons besides the bottom tabs. But you can actually run your apps uh, from this interface builder. It's really cool. So here is uh, another app I've been working on. I just want to show you guys that everything's customizable, even the, the icons on the bottom. You can import your own icons. Here we're going to make a new one. And you can choose iPhone or iPad. I'm going to choose uh, iPhone, and I'm going to call it Test. So we're going to call this test, and you make your first page. I'm going to call it home. And here on this sidebar, you can look at all the different things that you can add to your mock-up. Now, these are all things that are pre-built for you. So if you want a button, just drop the button in and name it. It's just easy as that. So I'm adding a little uh, tab bar towards the bottom here. Just make sure that it's aligned right. And the next thing I'm going to add is a navigation bar on top. Now this has a title that we can change. So just tap it to be able to edit it. And I'm going to change this to Alex. So that's my name. Um, so tap it. And remember, you can uh, edit almost anything on these. And they have a whole bunch of preset colors for you that you can choose from. So here I'm going to choose a dark green. See, that doesn't look too bad. Um, and just to show you guys how easy it is to import a photo, I'm going to go to my camera roll, and I'm going to pick uh, my friend's woodblock painting, and I'm going to add a button for you guys now, just to show you how easy that is. So just drag it in, and I'm going to title this button, and you're going to see the words pop up there. I'm just going to call it play. And so this becomes a play button, and it's really easy to resize these kinds of things and to center them. There's a whole bunch of uh, rulers and stuff. So one really cool feature is that this thing spits out Xcode. So you press export to Xcode or export to PDF when you want to send this to somebody. Um, so I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to show you what the Xcode looks like. So here's my email with the Xcode project. So you just open up your Gmail, download it, and here I've got it running on a simulator. So this is the one I made to show you guys. This is the uh, Fashion Photography app, and you can use it just like you did on the iPad. You can click through the pages and check them out. So one thing I'd recommend doing before you buy the app is to go to the Interface HD website and check out the videos they have there. They have videos covering uh, almost everything that this app does. Just make sure it's right for you before you buy because it's one of the more expensive apps. But I think it's worth it. I use it a lot. Uh, so if you want to see some more reviews, click on an icon, check out the review, subscribe if you'd like, and peace.